successful girl boss video. I am super duper excited to be making this. I've had this on my mind for the longest time. I actually filmed this before, but it was like a year ago and I decided I didn't want to use the footage because it was just not as good as what I shoot now, but I'm really, really excited to bring this to you guys. I am completely obsessed with the whole girl boss idea and concept and it really has become who I am and I'm very 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 into it and I have a lot of tips that can help your guys' lives to just be better all around. Um, I'm going to be covering like branding, like self branding tips, you know, that just help you be a successful business person. And then second, I'll be talking about self care things because it's really really important to not get too focused into the work that you forget to take care of yourself because at the end of the day, your success is how good you feel. So you wanna feel relaxed and not stressed out all the time and have everything under control, but also not be like a mess. You know what I mean? So this is just gonna be 10 tips to get you there. So my first tip to you guys is to be set days. So you have edit days, upload days, filming days, writing days, it depends what your personal area of branding is, whether it's a blog, YouTube, online business, really whatever it is. It's really important to set aside days for each task. So I'm just kind of covering the YouTube task because that's one of my main things that I do. So I have like, say today is Tuesday, so this is my filming day. Yesterday was Monday and my task was editing day. So after I finished my homework, I edited the video for Wednesday and set it to upload so that I am not covered in stuff to do tonight and stressed out. And having the filming days and the editing days, if you have enough filming days, you'll have things pre-filmed so you, if you have a day, especially if you're a high school girl boss like me, there's gonna be days where you have a test and you're like, I can't, you know, I can't focus on my branding today. I have to just do the work to, you know, keep up with my high school grades because that is very, very, very important and you can't just let that slide while focusing on your girl boss dreams because your grades are gonna come into a play, you know, going to college and everything. So what's really helpful with this is if you have things pre-filmed, you don't have to worry at all pretty much about getting those things filmed if you have something important to do. And also I really recommend if you're just like, you know, filming is hard sometimes because maybe you're just not in the mood to film. It really helps for me to watch other girl boss related videos. So videos like this, or I love watching Hannah Ashton has a really great girl boss, Adeline Rock. Those are just a few of my favorites. Danielle Carolyn, who really, really produced girl boss material. And after you watch them, you're just like, I'm motivated. I can go film a video and have great inspirations, go on Pinterest, look up like, I have like a vlogging and blogging page, but I'm sure tons of other people have those boards, so like it doesn't matter what one you look at. Just like look at things that get you inspired. Don't just watch Netflix, which is kind of like, I was just watching Riverdale, not gonna lie. But like don't just do that. Focus on things that are gonna inspire you. And then like, you know, when you're doing your makeup and you're already inspired, you can do things like watch Riverdale like I did. Well, like I already filmed this video, because if you didn't know, it's almost 9 p.m. on a Tuesday night. And I school tomorrow, so. Love you tube, girls, love you tubes. My next tip is to have a desk space, a room, some office area that you can really just focus and get that work done, girl. Because work, work. You ain't gotta go to work. Oh, oh. You can work from home. Oh, oh. Basically, just have this space where you can go to edit videos. If you're a blogger, write your blog post. If you have a website, post your postings, whatever. I love my desktop workspace. I have this really great organizer from Target that I use a lot, a lot, a lot. But I also have a room in my house, which is just because my system ripped out and you might not have access to this, but really wherever works. It can even be like a bedside table that has all of your girl boss business stuff where you keep all your files, everything like that, which I'll get into in a second. But yes, that's really, really helpful to have space. So I also have a room where I do work, but it's like my Poshmark work and this is like my YouTube work. So also guys, self promo, if you have, don't, if you've never checked out my Poshmark page, link is here. It's really, really awesome and I'm really into the stuff. I'm gonna, I'm about to list a bunch of stuff this week. Um, so get ready. I got made my first, um, what's it called, sell? That is not the proper way to say that, but you know what I mean. I'm really excited, I'm shipping that tomorrow. Gotta write my little message to the for the buyer. And if you do buy something from me, I will be sending you a little nice little note, a message, because I appreciate you guys so much. My next tip 
of all your branding deals and business file type of order. So what I like to do is print out any emails of companies that I've considered working with, that I am working with, or I've already worked with, and I separate them into three different folders. A really important thing to branding yourself is to have a page where you have all your personal information, all of your past previous workups, your subscribe account or your blog followers or whatever, your views, you know, all of that stuff is really important to be able to send that to companies that you are interested in working with or companies that are interested in working with you. And this is commonly called a media kit. So to make my media kit, I personally use Canva because it's free, but there's also like Pinterest things I've pinned in everything where you purchase like a $15 media kit outline and then you just fill in with your information, which is really awesome too. Um, Canva is free though, so really recommend that because you can just you know download it and have it yourself without having to pay $15 you know for the thing that you want to send to the companies but it is a very very important piece to have and I recently made mine and I'm really obsessed with it and it's really really great to um, talk with companies and give them more information on you and who you are besides saying hi I'm interested in working with you like that doesn't really my next one is something that really really helps me dress the part if you are a blogger or youtuber you know most people who own personal brands run these side hustles per se from home but dress how you want to feel. Put on a fancy dress, like the one I'm wearing right now. This is from Walter Green. I'm obsessed with it. Link to their website down below. A little promo to them. But this is literally gorgeous. And I showed you guys a lot of their pieces, which I also love, love, love. Walter Green is amazing. But just put on, you know, any fancy, nice dress. Maybe go shopping for some that you can work from home in. Put on some heels. Put on some jewelry. Put on that lipstick. Feel yourself, girl. And you know, when you feel awesome and empowered, you can do anything. You can take on the world. So all I ever wanted was the world. I can't help that I need it all. The prima donna life, the rise and fall. You say that I'm kinda difficult, but it's always someone else's fault. Got you wrapped around my finger, babe. You can count on me to me. self-care tips and you might be like why is this important to being a successful person well you need to keep your mental space healthy my first tip is take treat yourself time this one might not make sense you see this shot of me eating ice cream you might be like that's not exactly healthy eating this ice cream is really awesome because halo top and it is healthier than other ice creams but also no matter what it is it's really important to take that time where you just let yourself chill put on those sweats eat that ice cream take time for yourself because especially having a side hustle like youtube or a blog it's really really hard you know remember that when you're home it's not just time to work on things besides school it's also time to sit back and relax and enjoy living and take a deep breath so just you know have a little dessert have a little time in bed maybe watch a little netflix throw on some sweats you deserve it you are such a hard worker and you you deserve it you deserve it you d-e-s-e-r-v-e it lighting out stress so I really recommend doing this if you're getting really stressed out I'm using my studio earbuds because I love them because I can go outside and because they're Bluetooth I don't have to bring my phone with me and they're just really compact and cute and I like to listen to music while I work out because it just makes it go faster and especially a lot of times I do work out in the basement and I'll do like a video one so I can have the earbuds listen to the workout while I watch it on my phone, just do it quick, easy, it's done, and I don't have to go to a gym and go out because that might take more time, take time away from my side hustle. But maybe I just need a small workout to let my mind escape all the stress that I'm feeling with my business. My next 
tip is to take a time of day to log off everything. Log off your Snapchat, your Twitter, your Instagram, because if you have a side hustle like me, or you are an entrepreneur, or you are a at-home girl boss hard worker who has something like what I do, these platforms are part of your business. And yes, I love them just as much as the next girl. I love posting things about what I'm up to and what I'm doing, but it's really important to realize that life isn't all work and you don't always have to be like, new video coming up, you know, just always promoting yourself. It's okay to sometimes just relax, shut all that off and read a nice book. And I have these really fun bookmarks. Um, they'll be linked down below. I love them because they're just so fun and cute and make reading even more exciting. And I love reading my little self-help books at night and just, you know, really cozying up to that instead of worrying about how many, you know, subscribers did I gain or how's my views doing my video. Like, no, no, nobody has time to stress about. <laughs> of your physical self. This is like you on the outside, not just on the inside. Take bubble baths, do face masks, paint your nails, do your eyebrows, do things that make you feel good on the outside, you know? Things that are just like, ah, relaxation, you know, put on the nice face mask, pop open your book, pop open that ice cream and have a self-care night after working on your side hustle for a few hours. And when you have those two things mixed together, you're gonna be unstoppable because you're gonna be relaxed and happy, but also empowered and busy and making a change in the world and making a difference in the world and really adding something to the world besides just sitting at home and doing nothing or going out and doing stuff constantly and being miserable with yourself. for watching i hope that some of these tips helped you guys comment down below your tips to being a successful girl boss because we're all in this together girls girls support girls we can do this when we empower each other when women empower women incredible things happen hope you guys have an amazing day and i love you guys so much